So I found a few dragonflies, but my initial struggle was even with the one extension tube on, I couldn't, uh, couldn't focus close enough. So I had to add another extension tube and still this lens the setup will only let me focus maybe 10 feet away, which is closer than it would normally, but it's uh, still a little bit of a challenge. But I've got a, a beautiful green dragonfly sitting on the, uh, on a weed here. Don't know what species it is, I'll figure that out later. But besides the dragonfly, there's also all kinds of cool stuff around this pond. So I'm gonna spend the morning out taking pictures of frogs and some plants and dragonflies and whatever else I can find. It's literally a 300 yard walk around this pond. So it's gonna be a great uh, way to spend a summer morning and, and watch the sun come up. The sun just came up a few minutes ago. So it's starting to, we've got a, a row of trees that kind of protect this pond for the first, uh, 30 minutes to an hour or so of sunrise. And so once the sun gets up and starts drying everything out, these dragonflies will be flying around a lot more and I probably won't be able to get a picture of them. So uh, let's just see what happens. And uh, looking forward to a great morning. So using this technique with the extension tubes, I'm finding out that the amount of focus I have is just super razor thin. So one tip I'll use, I'm doing is to uh, use the screen on the back of my camera and zoom in really close and get critical focus that way. Uh, and then I'm shooting with a little deeper depth of field than I normally would. I'm shooting these at F8. sun now and the sun's coming up and it's starting to get warm this morning but one of the techniques I've noticed as I've worked my way around this pond is if you see a dragonfly and they fly up a lot of times they'll just fly around in that same area and then if you'll stop and just be still they'll alight back on the stick or the weed that they flew up from or it'll be somewhere close so I've been able to use that technique with pretty good results throughout the, around this whole pond and uh, and it's amazing, you know, just how much life it lives around this pond if you just slow down and pay attention to it all. And so I've got a little bit more time left this morning. I've got to go do some other things. And uh, plus it's getting pretty hot out here. So uh, once the sun gets up a little more, I think I'm done for the morning and I'll go in and look at these pictures. But other than that, it's, it's been a super, super great morning. Mm -hmm. 